Good morning again on this rather overcast Saturday morning. I had to think for a minute there, what day was it? <laughs> you probably noticed a little bit of hesitation. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm so used to being able to look at my clock and see uh, what day it is that uh, you don't really think about it, you don't keep track of it. Especially when, you know, to me, every day is the same. <laughs> Every day is model day. Yeah, if we were going to have a sunrise, it would have happened probably half an hour ago. Well, it did rise. As I've said before, we just couldn't see it. <laughs> now, I did make a little bit of progress yesterday on the catapult. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it went uh, not too bad. Uh, for, for a minute there, I was kind of worried that possibly I was going to be gluing the part to this uh, waxed paper that I put down. Oh, and also we did solder up the photo etch part. But you know what? Let's roll back and uh, just see how it went. So, okay. Continuing right along on this nice, bright, sunny Friday afternoon. Uh, if you remember, we used the photo etch plier here to uh, bend that, or to hold it while we bent it. But it's a little bit too wide. However, these tweezers here, I think will be just about right. And what I'm planning to do is uh, put on my magnification hood and try and bend this so that it's square and also so that the the uh, corner in question is is just just nicely touching so that the solder the flux will sort of flow um, at least that's the plan and then then I'll bend the other one and do it off camera now this it, it's pretty hard for me to to hold this up up to the up to my face and then do this and and have the camera on at the same time all you're going to do is see my big greasy nose uh, <laughs> so uh, we don't want that so I'm just going to go ahead and try and get it and then we'll uh, put the macro lens on and uh, move in and take a look at my uh, handiwork Okay, we sort of got it here. Now, this is the side where it's held together by tabs. You can see them there. Now, if we turn it 180 degrees. Now, this is the edge where it's sort of a, you might say, a friction fit. And we're going to try and solder all the, all the way along there. All, all being well. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to use a combination of the self-locking tweezer, the helping hands, and you remember, oh, it must be going on two years ago now, we bought this solder paste, and I haven't used it for quite a while, so I'm hoping that it will still be soft enough that it's going to come out of there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it, little minute amounts all the way along that seam and then hopefully it'll wick its way in when we touch the soldering iron to the to the metal um, yeah and we will stick the macro lens on uh, you know and we'll get in nice and close and watch it being done okay this is a uh a little bit embarrassing, but if I didn't tell you, you might not not have noticed. But I had to turn this around 180 degrees because this is the this is the seam that we want to solder up, and we were looking at this other one on the other side. Well, it's got the tabs on it, so let's see if this is going to come out. I've already squeezed it, and I got some up before, just a little bit. So the the idea is I want to just just put a little bit on. I 
like that every so often. Neighbor's coming over in about 10 minutes for coffee, so I don't have. I'm gonna just have to put the soldering off for about an hour or so. But I, I don't think that uh, it's gonna hurt that. You know, I know train man Dave is probably saying, Ron, you're putting on too much, you're putting on too much. I probably am. Um, A lot of it will, will stick to the uh, to the soldering iron. Okay, maybe just one more little bit down in the end here. Mm, that's too much. Well, that's not much better. Okay, we're going to, have to take a bit of a break here for about an hour or two, and then we'll come back at it later this evening. Okay, about an hour and a half has passed here, and my neighbors come and gone, and if you notice that things are happening a lot better in the world now, it's because we solved all the world's problems. Okay. I've got this thing set to 370 degrees Celsius. So let's see what happens here now. Yeah, I do believe we got it. There's a little blob on the top. See if I can get rid of that. Okay, I think that's uh, a lot stronger than CA glue, that's for sure. Now, I've done the other one much the same way. And uh, I was realizing afterwards that uh, we, we had that other... Uh, seam on the other side that in other words where let me swing it around here where this l latter part sort of took a downturn it was also also needed to be soldered along here so I did that on both sides on both of them I mean and uh, anyway it when you look at it up close like this it looks pretty ragged but uh, I think we got it I think it would look I think it's going to be a uh, a lot better once it's painted than CA would have been and definitely a lot stronger. Now when we did the photo etch piece here earlier we sort of got a bit ahead of ourselves. We should have really been starting right here. At least if we're going to be going in the order of the way things are in the manual. And uh, I think that this, what would happen if I turn it like this? Does it look like it might be right as well? Is this sort of a mirror image? No, it has, it has to go like this. Yeah. You can see that this, this longer flat area is, is this part right here. Okay, so it's got to go like this. And this piece here. Okay, we, we need the uh, E23. And I believe that that's the, the longer of the... Okay, E23. Now, these pins here, I believe these go 
go down because they probably they probably fit into holes on the on the turret. Okay. Yeah, because in the in these holes right here are for this It's a simulated hydraulic cylinder that I've got a feeling we are not going to even see. But we'll put it in anyway, of course. And, uh, yeah, okay, so we need that. But, uh, okay, so this piece here. Okay, does it, does it matter which way it goes, or is it uh, symmetrical, so it wouldn't matter which way it went? i got a feeling it wouldn't matter which way it went. But it has to go... Let me just turn this a bit here. Something like that. It doesn't seem to fit into any kind of... In, into any kind of a groove or anything here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, to glue into place. I might have to do that off camera. We'll see what happens. Or or maybe this is a... Where are those locking tweezers again? You know, we could use the locking tweezer. And, uh, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's do that. I'm just going to uh, recompose here. Okay, you may not be able to see it too well, but I'm not going to be making the mistake of, of gluing this to the wood again. So I got a piece of uh, cereal box waxed paper here, taped down, and uh, I, I know this is kind of crooked, but I think once we get our, our part on there, it's going to hold it, hold it down flat. And uh, Okay, we're going to be using our are uh, tweezers that I adjusted so it sort of swivels and that way it's going to okay sorry if I get my big ugly knuckles in there Now I don't want to shove this block too far up because then it's going to squeeze it together and it's going to open up on the jaw. Now I'm going to have to just turn this so I can see it a little bit better here. I thought this would go really easy, but it's maybe I'm getting shaky, maybe I'm getting tired. Um, how does that look? Should it go maybe half a millimeter to the left? Or is it just about okay now it's it's it, it looks actually pretty good. Yeah, I think I think we pretty much got it. It's it's kind of leaning this way to the right. Maybe uh I'm just gonna have to push stop here and readjust and then we'll get going again. Okay, what I've got here is the uh, the extra thin regular, not the quick setting. And my thinking is that I can probably uh, put a very, very small amount on better than I could if I used the uh, applicator that's in the jar. So, so uh, 
may, you may not be able to see what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to sort of tack it on the ends. And there we go. All right. Now I'm, I'm hoping that this this uh, extra thin does not dissolve the waxed paper. It's uh, I, I just put a very 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 small amount on. I could actually see it wicking its way along. Um, it looks like maybe I should be trying to pull. Where's my Okay, believe it or not, that's uh, sort of glued itself down. I could probably release the the uh, the tweezer. Now, should I try and get a little bit in these in these other joints right here? Okay, let's just. Uh, Let's just let that uh, dry. Probably take about half an hour. It's getting pretty late anyway. I'm getting a little bit tired. I thought I'd get more done tonight, but uh, I always think that, don't I? Okay. Let's, let's just push stop for a bit here and see what happens. Okay, quite a bit of time has passed here now since I said let's push stop and see what happens. Uh, now I can't swing this all the way around because the rotator is banging into the tripod of the camera, but I th I'm pretty sure it's going to be safe now to, to release this, as long as I go at it very gently. Okay, now... Did this glue itself to this waxed paper, or is it going to release? No, it didn't, so that's good. Okay, we'll reinforce that now the rest of the way. But we're going to be doing that <laughs> tomorrow morning. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And <laughs> all being well, we'll be seeing you in the morning. Okay, it is morning, and I've adjusted my light here so that it will kind of cast a shadow. And you'll notice that there are positioning pins on, on this piece and this piece here. Now, the next thing that it wants us to do is to... Okay, it wants us to glue this on here, something like this. Now, I, I think that the, the best way for me to do this is just to take it off of here and get everything into position and then start videoing again afterwards. Otherwise, it's just going to be too much fumbling going on here. And... Uh, and it doesn't want to stay together, so I'll be using the self-locking tweezers. And then we'll, we'll get it something like this. And then uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I forgot to put this uh, ram. Uh, it was probably a st steam operated, I would imagine. Uh, it, sh it should have been in place there. You can see the two little holes on the bottom there where the positioning pins are supposed to go in. I do have the one positioning pin in. Um, I'm just going to try and wedge this into place here. I'm probably going to have to do it off camera. Okay, I've spent probably 20 minutes trying to get this part in here and get it to mesh up with those holes. And what I've concluded was, oh, and that 20 minutes that included, probably be about five minutes looking around on the floor for it. 
it, it uh, wedged itself in there and then just sort of pinged out. Um, now what, what's happening is that, that these pegs are slightly too large for those holes. Now, do you remember uh, two or three months ago somebody had sent me a Okay, I can see right now that it's not it's not going to work because it's it's uh, it's obviously too big. So I'm, if I want to enlarge those holes, I'll probably have to use something else. Anyway, it's worth a try. Um, okay, let's push stop here and figure out what we're going to do. Okay, we're back. Now these holes, they they only have to be slightly enlarged. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and just sort of work this. Maybe a maybe a needle might work better. All I want to do is just sort of enlarge the hole slightly. Okay. Now where are we here? Trying to hold it so that you can see it. I've got myself a, an old darning needle here. And it is probably going to work a little bit better. And uh, all I want to do is just slightly enlarge the holes. Okay, let's try that. Now, I don't know why it is I am going to so much work here for something that is not going to be seen anyway. But uh, I can get the one peg in, but when I force this down and try and get the second peg in, this, this uh, entire assembly, like these two parts here, becomes sort of wedge-shaped and it pops out. And that's how I lost it to the floor. Anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to try to do is try and shorten this, this peg right here that I'm touching right now. That won't go in. Probably about half as much. Uh, at least at least that's the plan. Now, like, I'm, like I said, at least I think I said it, why am I going to so much work for something that, that's not going to be seen anyway? You know, when... when 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 this part here go, goes on top, well, I suppose maybe through the grating here we might be able to see it. But uh, anyway, let's <laughs> let's continue on. I guess it doesn't really matter what I do as long as I have a good time, right? And part of having a good time is just trying to see how much of this can I actually do on camera and uh, maybe I should find something else to hold this down with. I thought my finger might work the best and uh, all right normally when I'm trying to nip off something like this I'm trying to get as close to the, the piece as possible so I don't need to file, but right now this just does not want to I'm trying to get it there. I think I basically got it. Now I don't want to go I'm probably turning so you can't see it. I I, I don't want to be going all the way down flush like this. I wanna be I wanna be up just a little bit, just a little bit here. So I think I'll just angle my my cutter like this. Let's try that. That took a, well, maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, that leaves enough. I think it leaves enough that we should be able to, uh, you know, it will kind of fall in the hole if we can see it. It doesn't want to uh, roll so that you can see it. And anyway, I, I realize I'm, I'm driving you crazy here. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's, there's enough left there. Okay, 
I've got it. Now, I could probably find a better way to waste 45 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the uh, quick setting here and just drop some down in there. Okay. In about 10 minutes that's going to be nice and solid. Maybe I should uh, work for something here that I can squeeze with. Okay, I did not use the self-locking tweezers. I just held it in my fingers, applied a little glue along the seam, held it for about uh, oh, a minute, I guess, then uh, glued a little bit more, and probably only took about five minutes. But we basically got it. I, th I think that the rest of the parts are going to be able to match up now. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Now, when I was looking in my surveillance monitor here yesterday, I was noticing that it looked as though if I walked around in the neighbor's yard and came in from the back towards the bird feeder, I could get to the bird feeder because the uh, path that I'd been plowing during the winter, at least the first part of the winter with the snowblower, it was completely filled in and in places the snow, well it's not right now, but it was probably about three feet deep. Uh, yeah, later on we'll be able to check that out because it had completely covered uh, an item that's in the back there and we'll, we'll just see how tall that item was. Uh, for instance, the air conditioner in the back, it was completely covered over. But anyway, we're starting to ramble a little bit here. So uh, being very, very careful. Um, now you'll notice I'm using my cane. Uh, yeah, it seems kind of funny. How come I could operate a snowblower but I need a cane to walk, right? Well, the <laughs> snowblower is a self-powered walker. I can actually walk behind it better than I can without it. <laughs> yeah, that looked pretty good going up and down the aisles in the grocery store with a snowblower, wouldn't it? Uh, anyway, so what's got me going on this here now? Well, this morning on Facebook, one of my Facebook friends here in Winnipeg posted a video of his bird feeder. Well, don't you know, he's got about a dozen birds coming and going. I got no birds. I think all my birds flew south for the winter, and I don't blame them. And they haven't come back yet. <laughs> those seeds looked pretty good. I don't think there was anything wrong with those seeds. They weren't all soggy or anything like that. Um, yeah, well, we'll just have to see how it goes. Pretty soon our snow is going to be gone, and I won't be crying about that. Well, thanks for watching, folks. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.